morning everybody hope you guys are doing great welcome back to the trucker's life i am jorge navarro if you're new to the channel welcome to the channel if you've already been subscribed welcome back guys and here we are had to make an executive decision yesterday um i did a load from cincinnati well actually from uh lower cincinnati area uh rich, actually richmond kentucky uh, about over 100 miles south of cincinnati um, I went down there, picked up a load, brought it to Orlando, Florida, and uh, everything went smooth. The load paid pretty decent, but um, unfortunately, I was going to have to wait for three and a half days to the next load. So I had to make a decision. I had to either sit there, idle, you know, put more wear and tear on my truck. Uh, spend money and uh, no home time plus the load that I that I had set up that they had set me up for Monday was really not gonna cover much it was actually just gonna cover the truck payment and uh, fuel and that's about it so I would have had to immediately get another load right after that well that was my load going home I've been out on the road for two weeks so that was my load going home and see that's 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 a problem sometimes that's the problem sometimes that um we end up having to make these decisions where you're out on the road and you and you uh sit on the road for three days four days whatever so you're not at home right you're not woo, 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 what happened there but anyway so you're not at home turn my jake off and uh, when you get home, like in a situation like that, I would have been home on Wednesday. So to be able to get anything positive, to, to be able to bring any money home, I would have had to have left immediately because our weekend's on Saturday. And what did that mean? That mean I was gonna be home only for a day or two and then back out on the road. Yeah, not acceptable for me. So, I made the decision to deadhead all the way from Orlando, Florida to Houston. Now, this is why I'm telling you that this, you know, um, that, no, I didn't tell you that yet, but I'm gonna tell you, this is why that is kind of sometimes a bullet you have to bite, right? Because if you, um, okay, let's say for example, I stayed in, I stayed over there, and uh, I was gonna end up in Savannah. I stayed in Savannah three and a half days, spending fuel money, um, you know, food and all that other stuff. I was gonna get a load that barely paid enough to just cover the truck, we've been over it already, and uh, had to leave immediately. But instead, uh, you guys are gonna see this video on Saturday, but um, I'm recording it on Friday, so it's, instead I, I'm gonna be home today, tonight, or later on today and so I will be home better part of a Friday Saturday Sunday and I can leave up and set up for a good load because nine times out of ten the good loads are always gonna come out of your terminal because they're the ones that are gonna always look out for you all the other terminals really don't care they're gonna give you the bottom loads the loads that don't pay anything and uh, you don't have you don't have a really a rapport built with those guys so they really don't care but the guys at your terminal you know they they, they care for you quite a bit more and uh, they look out for you because everybody looks good everybody looks good they get out of load and um, you know they, they give you a decent load you're happy so all the way around it's a good deal so that's what I decided to do I'm just gonna go ahead and go home reset set my truck up to be in a better area it's gonna get a better paying load and uh, take off yeah I'm biting the bullet on fuel and uh, all that type of stuff but luckily um, in Mobile here in Mobile that we're going through right now actually we're about to go through the tunnel because I have a empty non hazmat trailer but anyways um, we have a yard here that our fuel prices are like a dollar I'm not sure what they are there but normally they're about a dollar fifty dollar seventy maybe a dollar eighty a gallon so it helps me offset the cost that I have to come out of pocket and uh, 
you know, so I just, I just wanted, you know, that's, I wanted to go home. That's just, at, at the end of the day, that's, that's uh, what I wanted to do. I wanted to come home. Uh, see, I already had sat for three days, three and a half days up in Cincinnati, right? To wait for the next load. So that was fine. Now, let's think about this. I was on the road two weeks. Okay, this is my, my second week. I'm, I'm at the end of my second week. And then I was going to sit another three and a half days. That's a full week's work. Seven days. Three and a half, three and a half, seven days of zero work, zero revenue. Man, I might as well come home. They finally made it through the tunnel, guys. It is the Mobile Tunnel. But anyways, um, yeah, I might as well just come home and uh, reset from here. I mean, I know I know the freight is slow. I know the freight is slow, and I I greatly understand all that. Like that's not even my you know my my biggest complaint. And uh, but I can't justify me staying out on the road that many days. And then coming home for a day and then leaving again. Not acceptable for me. So I don't care really who gets upset about this, but it's not acceptable for me. And everybody knows that my family is way more important than any job. Yes, the job is important. It helps me feed my family. But this is not the only job in the world. And this profession is not the only thing that I can do. There's other things that I that I can also do. Do I want to? No. I love what I do. I love what I do. I enjoy being out here on the road. Last night I met this awesome dude. Um, I can't remember his name. I guys, you gotta forgive me. I am the worst at names. The worst. And uh, but anyways, he was out there fishing uh, at the bay back there. Truck driver. He worked for a USA uh, truck. And uh, he was he was out there fishing. I was riding around in my uh, e-bike, and I had it was kind of funny because, as you guys may know, those of you that are fishermen, you cannot uh, you have to get a license per state. That's why I haven't done that myself because I would like to go fish. But if I have to get a license per state, it's really not worth it for me because I don't fish that much. So, anyways, if uh, so, so he was there fishing. And um, I had uh, my e-bike, and I had these lights, these new lights that I bought that flash blue, blue and white. And uh, he said that he, uh, the guy said he saw me at my truck, and he's like, oh, man, that guy's over there messing with that truck. Uh, he, he's thinking I'm a police officer. So um, I decided to go over there and just ask him. I like, I, I know some fishermen get bothered by somebody coming to bother them. That's, they're in their safe spot. They're in their, their chill spot, whatever. But um, I went over there and actually um, introduced myself and I said, and uh, you know, asked him. Well, actually, no, I asked him, uh, has he been caught catching anything? How's he doing on the catch? And he's like, oh, you know, I just started, whatever. And he's like, you're not a cop. I'm like, no. He's like, man, I thought you were a cop and I thought you were coming over here to ask me for my license because he got a little jittery there for a little bit but I was like no 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 so I introduced myself and uh, we talked for a little bit uh, great conversation and then I let him get on the e-bike and uh, you know just uh, telling him all the benefits about having one and uh, well not necessarily e-bike but just the bike right so he didn't realize that there was a product out here that is uh, foldable that is foldable and that you can put in your um in your truck pretty easily if you remove a seat or you can actually put it behind your truck but you know you don't want it stolen but anyways or damaged um and he, he uh I, I told him to ride it so go ahead and ride it because this is what that's what this thing's about guys this thing's about so i can share that with you guys not only on the videos but if you see me out on the road please ask me to ride this thing please ask me to take it out for a spin and i will more than happy get it off it doesn't take long to get it off um, you know, even if I'm putting fuel, I'll pull over. I got 10 minutes. If you know, if I got the time, I got a little 10 minutes or whatever for you to go take a ride around real quick, and you can see what for yourself. But that was the main, uh, you know, the, that's the main reason I got this bike, and that was a piece of conversation with that gentleman. Um, and uh, it was just, 
it was just pretty cool. You know, every, every time I talk to somebody, I enjoy talking to different people. Sometimes for me, it's a little hard to just come up and start talking to somebody. Um, some may say that's not true, but it is. It is. Sometimes it is hard for me to just come up and talk to somebody. And uh, but this guy was awesome. He, he had a great attitude, was smiling, and just uh, telling me uh, what he had just been through because he actually had gotten to like some. Uh, uh, argument with a dispatcher or something and he ended up breaking his phone. Oh, what are we doing guy? What are we doing? What are we doing? You gonna speed up? You gonna slow down? What you gonna do? Anyways, he had gotten, uh, uh, he had just smashed his, his phone because he had got upset. He, he, uh, he's actually a fairly new driver in uh, trucking standards. You know, I've been out here on the, on the road 18 years. I'm still a rookie, right? So he's super, he was a super rookie. He's only been out here. I don't even know if that's a thing, a super rookie. But anyways, he'd only been out here for a for a year and a, and a few months, he said. And, um, but yeah, it's just, we exchanged a couple of stories, you know, and I let him let him be, he's actually on his phone with his wife. I let him be and I took off and went riding around for a little bit longer, had a great time. I did a live, that was amazing. I got a lot of great comments on um, helping out on finding remedies for my father. Um, I got a lot of good remedies, you know, like home remedies or like uh, uh, alternative re remedies for you know the cancer and uh, that was amazing guys if you have any alternative medication you know something herbal whatever um, put it down there put it down on my just put it down on your comments and um, you know we're open to try anything you know we'll try anything and uh, that was amazing that was amazing we had a great cover wait back and forth with those guys and uh, yeah it was good. It was good. So, um, as you guys kind of see, I'm kind of, kind of happy, excited. You know, I thought I was going to be upset that I had to go home again um, without making any money right now. But hey, I'm not. I'm not. I'm over it. Uh, I'm over that part. You know, bigger and better things will eventually come up, or this will eventually pan out. I mean, you know, you never know. You just gotta keep on pushing and not give up. The main thing is not give up. Just like me on this YouTube thing, the main thing is to not give up. Oh, one more thing guys, real quick, before I let y'all go, I know I've yapped on long enough. One more thing, I have I have a question to ask you guys. If I was to get together a group of guys, or gals, doesn't matter, um, and would say, let's get together and go down to El Salvador and I would be your guide and uh, to go explore uh, my beautiful country and to take you to go try different foods and go see the beautiful scenery and all this other stuff. Right now it can't happen because we have the whole quarantine thing, right? But in the future, in the future, if you, you think, you know, would any you guys be interested in, uh, you know, doing something like that? Like doing a, just making a group, small group, two, three, four, five guys, gals or whatever. Uh, husband and wives, whatever, whatever. Um, but a small group at the beginning, I couldn't, you know, I wouldn't be able to handle just to figure it all out, right? And um, so yeah, and let you get a glimpse of uh, my hometown and take you to my house and just, you know, just get a little, go out and, and explore this country that has gotten such a bad rap by a lot of people. And it's actually a great, a great, beautiful country. And uh, our president that we have now, well, their president that they have now is uh, actually doing so many good and positive things and changing the, the face of the country. And there's also a great places to go surf because we're actually on the surf, uh, on the world tour, uh, part of the circuit for the world tour of surfing. Um, so it's becoming a better place. So I don't know if you guys were interested, would be interested in something like that or maybe um, setting up a uh, with a trucking company from down there and you guys experience a day or two of you know the days that we're down there of how it is to be a truck driver down in there down in El Salvador so um, yeah comment down below if you guys would be interested in something like that I know it's kind of out there but if we don't think out there sometimes uh, we stay stuck in uh, the same little spot and uh, never never move forward so it's all about moving forward being positive and getting stuff done and uh, that's just what I'm trying to I feel in the bio I'm feeling like I need to do this and yeah hopefully things will be good but believe you guys I'm gonna keep on uh, driving I have about 
what about five about six hours six six seven hours to uh, get to Houston from here I'm just gonna take it easy set her on 65 I'm gonna be uh, uh, let me get around uh, my friend Swift here first and then I'll set it at 65 <laughs> uh, I'm sorry I had to there, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I had to say that joke. <laughs> hey, they're trying. They're trying. Uh, they can move forward. It's just like what I'm talking about. We all move forward and get get things done. So, yeah, guys. Don't forget to be kind to of one another. Help anybody that needs help. Anybody contemplating suicide. 1-800-273-8255. Military men and women, thank you so much for your service. And thank you for making me feel as free and as, uh, you know, just, just feel the sense of freedom and secureness being here in this country thank you so much for your service see you guys on the next video peace i'm out of here